Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And I've been uh, working on the, the freighter, some final finishing touches and whatnot, and I noticed a huge problem. Alright, click this button. I found the wiring problem I had with this button. Uh, this button controls the, the cargo lifts, and they should be lifting right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Controls the cargo lifts, because I was going to go remove these cargo containers and and uh, fill them up and see how that works, except the idiot who designed this, namely me, uh, doesn't allow you to get into the cargo container after you've, uh, after you've uh, dropped it. So, we are going to try to remedy this situation, and we're going to set up a... Um, a uh, symmetry mode here, and we are going to put some buttons down. Let's see, buttons to the right. All right, now we're going to undo the symmetry because we don't need it anymore, and we're going to have this button control that. That's not going to change the rail or anything. No, it's not. Did I have the wrong button control that? Yes, I did. I wanted the one on the right to control. So, in fact, while we're zipping around and confusing everything, let's go ahead and move him right there. And this one links to that. Okay. And put that back. All right. So the car goes down. It's here. Theoretically, we hit this button, and it detaches. So now I can detach the cargo containers. So we're going to have to do that with all of them. V, U to V, U, V, U, V. And on this side, you, V, U, V, you attach to V, okay, C on you, V on you, and C, V. Very good. Now, well, in space. Now I should be able to manipulate them. So, actually, that's going to be low enough, so I can hit. Come on, I, I can hit that button. Oh, I hit the button, not the light. And it should draw them up, close the door, and leave the detached ones there without causing any problems. Excellent. Very excellent. Most excellent, one could say. All right. Very good. Should probably faction those or something, but right now we're going to have it so the owner of the ship has to do that. Okay. Very good. All right, I'm happy with that solution. So it isn't all manual. You have to load them manually, but... but uh, uh, detaching them, and if I hit the button while they're in, uh, raised, it doesn't do anything. So if I, oh, if I pick up a straggler, I can force them to, uh, to, uh, detach. Alright, let's take a look at the ship. I took some time, and I added wedges and whatnot, and I added some nifty greebling type designs, and I added this doodad there, and I wedged it out a bit, and I took that all the way out, Let's see. Do a quicker, smooth flyby. And I think, ignore the little ship I was using to test, um, what was I testing? Airlock stuff. Ignore that ship. I think it doesn't look too bad. Don't think it looks too bad at all. Um, oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, I didn't. 
Okay. Come on. Stop that. <laughs> oh, I have an extra block there. And an extra block there. Oh, that could have happened. <laughs> I didn't have to add doors on the side. Alright. Tell you what, we will go ahead and put doors on there. We have the dark gray... Uh, dark gray and... I use black crystal armor. I didn't do much to the interiors. So we still have the, the spiffy diner. And we still have the... Uh, dining room, or living quarters, and a little bathroom. All right. Turn that light out. Oh, and I also have my openable and closable do uh, windows. i uh, probably be able to, probably should have been able to, or not been able, I probably should have done it a little differently, but that's what we have. Teleporter room uh, with faction access, very good. And you come down the hallway to two airlocks. All right. Let's go ahead and close that door. Very good. And let's hop into this door and... Where am I? And make it pretty. Crystal armor. That was a wedge. Or a hepta or something. Didn't want a wedge or a hepta or anything like that. There we go. I'm going to hop out of that one. And where am I? Let me get my bearings. There we go. And in this one we want something similar. Actually we want the exact same thing. Uh, black crystal and dark gray. Hop out, and we are now stuck in the guts of the ship. Well, all the logic that controls the the uh, air, airways, anyway. I had lots of space. I should probably come in and add extra thrusters in here. Now, I'm not going to go crazy optimizing and adding uh, power and shields everywhere, but probably a few more thrusters when it hurt. And I do like the ability for you to crawl around in here. And access the logic and all that. And you should be able to come up right here into the main elevator logic room. And back to the bridge. Very good. Alright. Now, oh, 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 I also added this thing here, and I filled it full of thrusters. I still have a big empty spot right here I'm not real thrilled about, but for the time being it's alright. Now we want to pick up, let's see how much, how well this thing moves without, uh, without, uh, full, full complement of cargo. Alright, it's get up and goes pretty good. It's not excellent, I mean, it is, it's not going to be a, a fighter or anything of that nature. But top speed of 93, or 95.3, it's not bad. Stopping, or stopping, continuing to stop. It takes a while to stop, but it take, usually takes most ships a while to stop. Alright, let's check out our drive. Oh wow, jump drive is fast. And it drains a good chunk of power. But, ha! I figured out the power properly and it does not take me to zero while, uh, while draining the, while charging the power, or jump drive. Let's see. Well, let's jump that way. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, I went to empty space. Because I really need to save this as a, uh, as a uh, blueprint with all my modifications. In fact, let's do that now. It's a 608 freighter work in progress. Was this 12? 
If it's not, it is now. Now, can I... If we're jumping to who knows where. Well, if we're jumping to 526.1. Can I have my radar jammer on and jump? No. I won't do a full charge like that. Okay. Comes close, but no. Okay. Alright. I am, however, gonna add extra thrusters. Let's see, we want symmetry mode on. And we want you to be stopped. And we want to check out... Oh, cool! That's a uh, work in progress 09. This is one of the spots we were building earlier. Uh, usually I jump around uh, empty sectors and and uh, just start afresh with a new blueprint. But this is... apparently I've been working here. I've never come across my own creations like this on accident. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, actually, this looks like... yeah, 09, that's how we left it last week. Isn't that neat? Okay. And stores are open. And it looks much nicer. Almost, almost kind of looks like a tugboat of sorts. Anyway. Uh... I was thinking, do I want to wedge that? No, I don't. I want to leave that square. Oh, thrusters. I was going to add thrusters. 50 is going to be too long. It's going to poke out the back. No, it's not. Alright, now I don't want to go crazy. But I do want people to see. All right, because I plan on filling this thing with lots of cargo. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to finish off the week and finish off the freighter. That isn't blocking anything or poking out anywhere, is it? No. Okay, we're going to finish off the week and finish off this freighter build by testing it with holding full capacity. We're going to fill up a put 10... One, two, three, four, five, yeah, ten cargo containers, full capacity, and we're going to see what goes on, see if, see if we can actually handle it. All right, I've been JW608, this has been StarMade, and I have a lot of work to do filling cargo containers. Anywho, I will take you, uh, you cats next time.